welcome to Afterfall Reconquest. This game is... uh... <laughs> Let's just say, I played this game on stream a little while ago, going into it completely blind, and I couldn't stop laughing. It's uh... It's really something special. I'm gonna kinda let it speak for itself initially. So I'm just gonna start the game and then I'll talk a little bit more about it once I get into the game. Uh, and by the way, there are no subtitles. There's no options for any subtitles whatsoever, so sorry if that's an issue, but I can't do anything about it. Here we go. Homo sapiens. For centuries, stubbornly trying to eradicate themselves. Even Atom was not enough. Finally, they found something capable of granting their wish. There is something peculiar about them. After each disaster they cause, they unite and try with great effort and determination to rebuild what was just destroyed. But this time was different. This time they have created something capable of breaking the cycle. There is someone who can save us. Perhaps we are worthy of saving. Alright, so we have the intro cutscene, and then we have a loading screen, and then we have another cutscene. Oh, that's a view you're not seeing very often. I know who you are, and these are not who you should be after. What are you doing here? I mean, what are you really doing here? I've been hunting... mutant. A rather slippery one. Oh, first two sentences, and it already sounds like an excuse. So, you didn't catch him, but what are you doing here? Listen. It's a long story. Will you just... The mutant slipped away one time too many. It just wasn't worth it. I've decided to return where I came from. And, uh, there's the end of the voice acting. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try to read this dialogue with a straight face. I, I pray that I can do this. I'm gonna try to keep a straight face. Reaper. We could use your help at the gate. It's been some time since I came so close and we're not exactly prepared. Don't make me ask you twice. Just go there and do your job, son. A few days after I got back, a group of mutants were sighted nearby. Vacation was over. Damn. I wanted a couple more days on the beach for my vacay. Alright, let's read this dialogue here. This, this right here is brilliant. Where are you going? There is some shit walking around. Access denied. 1S. Just, just, just 1S. Shout up! Stragov, send me to help you lazy morons. <laughs> I, I can't keep a straight face. I can't do it. Shout up! Stragov, send me to help you lazy morons. Okay. Go there if you want. I'm gonna close the gate until you or your bones will back. <laughs> I'm gonna close the gate until you or your bones will back. <laughs> Alright. Now you die. And then you die. And then we kick you and we kick you. And then I win the video games. Am I done? Oh wait, no, I think there's a couple more mutants. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're not quite dead. Come closer. Okay, now you're dead. Nope. Now you're dead. Is that it? 
Oh wait, no. A couple more mutants. Don't mind me, I'm just using my OP gun that kills everything. Okay, we're done. <gasps> no, there's a couple more. Okay, now we're done. Let's sprint back. Run! <gasps> I made it back. Open up! I'm done with that mutants. I love this run. <gasps> Did I just like lose the game? I kicked him and then there's a loading screen. I've actually never done that before. What, I don't know what just happened. Get rid of mutant scum at the gate. Oh my god, I just like lost the game and then it just reloaded back to before I killed everything. Okay, let's try this again without kicking him. I haven't seen them in a while. Them? You've seen them before? Similar breed, or maybe even the same. I'm not sure. Similar to what? The group that killed Alice and Leo. They probably got cola too. Pepsi? One and only. We've sent Cola's squad into Outer Rims. They were supposed to set up and guard an outpost near the mines. They can't be doing their job very well because we've lost radio contact a few days ago. Considering the recent mutant activity, they're all probably dead. So yeah, some of the writing, as you can see from what just happened before in the dialogue, is incredibly bad English, but others, like this right here, is, seems perfectly fine. It's like... Maybe they had multiple writers and some were really bad with English and others were better? I'm not really sure what happened. Anyway, I'm not gonna read all the dialogue. Uh, great. Oh yeah, this one's wonderful. What? What? Wait, what? He's just telling me, I can go talk to Titus to upgrade my stuff. So I suppose I can talk about the mm, so-called gameplay. This is Titus. Dude who says stuff and then gives you upgrades. You can upgrade your shield module, your recovery module, or your shrapnel module. The shrapnel module is the OP gun that I was just using to kill everything. Screw the pistol. Forget the pistol. It seems to suck. The shrapnel gun is, like, amazing. There we go. So he just upgraded my shrapnel. Which means I shoot more shrapnel! Yes! This shrapnel, by the way, is super, super bouncy. Watch this. <laughs> it shoots everywhere, and you will kill everything, including yourself. You can very much hurt yourself. For example... Okay, somehow it's actually not hitting me. Come on. Oh, and I just lost the game again because I think I killed an NPC or something <laughs> with the shrapnel. <laughs> I triggered a load screen. Oh god. Please don't reset me too far. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, it turns out the game actually crashed on that loading screen. Anyway, we're back. So, to talk a little bit about the gameplay... Yeah, you have the shrapnel gun that you can use. Which bounces off and can kill NPCs or yourself. Um, you can also switch to your shield module. Although, honestly... Oh, there we go. I forgot what key it was, but there we go. So basically you have a special ability, right? And that could be either shrapnel, or it could be the shield. I've never used the shield and I've never had a reason to because the shrapnel gun is incredibly good. For the, like, half hour to hour that I played, I just kept upgrading the shrapnel gun every chance I could get, and I just kept using it and just, like, forget the pistol. Because this thing is amazing. Uh, yeah, so you got shield and shrapnel as your special abilities. You can do this goofy sprint. You can do this goofy melee kick thing, which isn't terribly effective. Um, you can also drain enemies for their health. Kind of like a vampire. After you kill them, you can just slowly drain them and get some of your health back. Um, that's pretty much it. It seems to be a semi or maybe completely open world game. You do actually have quests. You can get multiple quests, some of which are optional and travel to different places. And uh, let's show one of those, actually, because I love this. This is awesome. Let's show you uh, a quest. That's a business take care of behind the gate. Let me pass. Great, thank you. Alright, so I'm going to the Outer Rim or something like that for a quest. And uh, I just want to show you a couple things. Gameplay wise. Sounds like you and Stragoff are pretty close. He took us in. All three of us. Gave us food. Shelter. Home. He trained us to become racist. 
just like he was. Three? My brother and sister. I left. They said. They've always been more careful than me. Yeah, so the voice acting is amazing, including the main character who sounds like a 16-year-old boy trying to sound... Trying to sound gruff and... Like he's seen some shit, you know? Yeah, it took me uh, 16, a little wasteland, a little dark past. Oh, I just died. Damn. Yeah, this game, at least in the beginning, seems to be extremely easy. If Sounds you are patient. Like you and Strack off are pretty close. If you take your time and shoot enemies from afar, it's very it easy. But they do a lot of damage to you, so if they get close, you're kind of screwed. Food. Oh. Trained us to become rangers, just like he was. Three? My brother and sister. I left. And they stayed. They've always been more careful than me. So yeah, I just want to show you what kind of gameplay you can expect. Highly tactical gameplay across a uh, vibrant, beautiful gray world. Oh, by the way, this game was pulled from Steam for some reason. Um, yeah, it was it was pulled from Steam. Oh, here's the drain enemy thing, by the way. Heal me up. Thank you. Yeah, this game was pulled from Steam. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, although I've heard certain things about the company behind it um, having some legal issues with the licensing of the engine. So that may have been may have been a thing. Uh, in fact, I don't even know if you can buy this game anywhere anymore. No idea. I got it from a bundle a long time ago. Alright, so we've come here and we're supposed to, like, fix this cola Pepsi... Puzzikov's uh, radio or something like that. Uh, give it a rest, Pepsi. Ha 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 ha. Cola need information. Understood. Oh, the slippery one you've mentioned before. The unfinished story. It's this red eye. Am I right? <sighs> so yeah, this is the wonderful thing. You come all the way from talking with Stragoff, and he says, "Go speak to this guy here, this Cola guy," and then you go to Cola, and then the first thing he tells you to do is go back to Stragoff. See, so you slowly run across, run across this gray, dead, lifeless, boring world, and then the first thing you're told to do is run back through it, back where you came from. You said you've been hunting him for a while. It gets better, though. Your it gets even better than that. Your profession isn't exactly a popular career choice. Tell me how it all began. While running back, you get I another cutscene. I don't dwell scene. on the past. Family. Peace. Joy. Lies and fables. Looking back won't point you in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, I've been hunting him for a few years now. I don't like unfinished stories. You don't like unfinished stories, huh? Job just like <laughs> I'm just gonna skip that now. But don't expect me to stop asking questions. What happened later? I returned home. Again. Yep, now we run all the way back. He said he doesn't like unfinished stories. Well, guess what? Um, this game is actually the sequel to Afterfall Insanity, a game that I haven't played, and you probably haven't either. And, uh... Where did I come from? This way. And this game is actually episodic. This is episode one. And it apparently it's episode one of a planned nine episode series. Alright, well, if I keep running back this way, I'll get a load screen and go back to Stragov, but I think I've shown enough, right? So, yeah, I hadn't played this game before I played it on stream a little while ago, and so when I played it, I was just blown away. Like, I couldn't stop laughing. It's just utterly ridiculous. Everything about it. The voice acting, the 16-year-old kid trying to sound gruff and deep. The roll animation. The barely faster sprint that looks goofy. The incredible simplicity of the combat, and how ridiculously overpowered this shrapnel thing is. Oh, 
in the cutscenes, running back, like the first thing you have is like a fetch quest where you go talk to a dude and then you have to run all the way back to where you came from and you get a cutscene while running back. Like, oh my god. So anyway, there you go. That's about as far as I played it on stream. I played a little bit further, but I didn't see anything of any more interest. It's a game that's so bad it's good for like the first 20 minutes and then it started to get boring after that. So I really wouldn't me recommend getting it based on what I've seen so far. I don't even know if you can get it, because like I said, it's been pulled from Steam and I don't know if you can buy it anywhere else. I got it from a bundle a while ago. I, yeah, I don't know if you can purchase it anymore. But, uh... There you go. That is Afterfall Reconquest. Based on what I've seen so far, I really don't recommend it. Uh, but if you'd like to buy it for yourself, I will see if I can find a store to buy it from and put a link in the description. I don't know if you can actually buy it anywhere though, so... Possibly the only thing you'll find in the description is a link to the Wikipedia page or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll do my best. <laughs> Maybe it's still available on some, some bundle sites or something like that. And yeah, this is uh, episode one of a planned nine episode series. And if it's been pulled from Steam, I feel like the chance of the other eight episodes ever coming out is pretty low. Uh, so we might never know the end of this grand epic story. Ah well. Thank you for watching.